South Korea just issued an arrest warrant for Do Kwon and several other employees. This is some news that you definitely don't want to miss out on. This is massive news. A court in South Korea issued an arrest warrant for Do Kwon, the founder of Terraform Labs, as you guys all know. This ended up escalating a probe that they've been doing since the ecosystem ended up losing $40 billion in value over the span of a couple days, right? Like you can't just lose $40 billion and not get investigated. Of course, they're going to look into it. However, it seems like they're taking it a step further. This is not just for Do Kwon either, okay? This is for six different people within the company, as well as the fact that they believe that the individuals have violated the nation's capital market rules. So this is not just a, hey, Do Kwon, we'd love to talk to you and your other employees. This is a, we think you violated our rules, we're gonna arrest you, and we're gonna charge you with crimes, okay? This is getting pretty serious. This is no longer just a simple investigation into what happened. They're taking things to the next level. For anyone who doesn't know already, this is not the first step that South Korea has taken, okay? South Korean prosecutors just raided the home of Terraform Lab co-founder Daniel back in July. So this has already been going on. They've already been escalating the steps because they believe that there could be allegations of illegal activity behind Terra Luna's collapse based on the South Korean laws. And authorities have said that as soon as Do Kwon arrives back in the country, he needs to notify law enforcement. Thankfully, Edward Kim came out and quashed a lot of the fears that the Terra Luna Classic community had. Terra Luna Classic is community driven. For anyone who doesn't know, it's run by a DAO. There is no single company or single person who decides the future fate of that. Now, that's not necessarily true for Luna V2. And he talks about how if Luna V2 needs help, they'll gladly come help. But for Terra Luna Classic, we're not really impacted by this. Do Kwon is no longer leading our future. And that's one thing that I think is so amazing about this. Now, you might be concerned about how this has affected the token prices in the Terra Luna ecosystem, and you'd be right to have concern. Let's look at what happened. As soon as this news came out, Terra Luna Classic dropped 25%. Luna 2.0, on another hand, that was a more serious example. You guys can see this token ended up dropping roughly 50% value as soon as this news came out. It was just straight red candles hammering because of course Terra Luna 2.0, that's reliant on Do Kwon and the team, whereas Terra Luna Classic, it's decentralized now and the community actually runs everything and pushes forward for the future of that. It's not reliant upon Do Kwon and the team. It also has been reported before that several employees of Terraform Labs could not leave the country and were placed on no-fly list. And this happened back in June, okay? So this is something important to understand that what's happening right now, this was inevitable. We've seen the signs coming that this was going to happen eventually. They were going to take it to the next level. And I think that makes sense, right? It's, it's not a great thing necessarily, but you can't go ahead and end up losing, as this article says right here, $60 billion in the ecosystem. You can't lose $60 billion over a couple days and not get investigated, right? And of course, with the extremities of what happened with Terra Luna Classic, they're going to make an example out of Do Kwon because they don't want this to happen again. Why would they want people to lose? Because this is not like some big investment firm, right? These are regular everyday people who end up holding Terra Luna and end up losing a ton of money because of what happened with the algorithmic stable coins. So at the end of the day, they're going to make an example out of Do Kwon, of course. And it might not be fair. It might not be just. Maybe the whole thing we should have known better. There's a lot of arguments that could be made around it, right? But at the end of the day, they don't want this to happen again. And so, of course, they're going to make an example out of Do Kwon and try and push the limits of what they can do to penalize him. Stop right there. The vast majority of you are not subscribed and don't have your notification bells turned on. Do that right now so you don't miss another video just like this. If you looked at Twitter, Do Kwon responded three hours ago and just hit us with a moon. And a lot of people don't know what this means. There's a lot of uncertainty. You can see comments are disabled on this. People don't know what's happening here. Is he just going to run away from this accusation and try and avoid the law and be free? Or is he going to face the charges? We don't really know what's going on here. However, I would suspect other countries are going to join in to try and help South Korea catch Do Kwon. On, right? A lot of this money that was lost was not just in South Korea. You guys got to remember that. There was a lot of people in the U.S. who invested, a lot of people in Europe who invested. So a lot of these countries have some motivation to catch Do Kwon and make an example out of him, not just South Korea. I think South Korea maybe will lead the charge, but I would expect a lot of these countries to come in and try and help catch Do Kwon. So it's really just a matter of time. At the end of the day, for me, I'm just not involved with the new Luna 2.0 ecosystem. And the reason why is simple. I just don't trust the team. And putting the potential intentions and what they wanted to have happen aside, because that's all speculation right now, of course, at the end of the day, they built a system that was unsustainable. And why would I give my money to someone who built essentially a glorified Ponzi scheme, a system that was so unsustainable that it collapsed dramatically? Why would I want to trust them again, right? They, they've proven that they can't build something that works. 
And so regardless of if they wanted this to happen or not, it's just something I don't want to trust them with. And that's why I'm involved with Terra Luna Classic instead. The Terra Luna Classic ecosystem is run by the community. It's a DAO. The community determines what happens. We vote on proposals. There's the 1.2% burn that's going to be coming up soon. And those kind of things get me excited because I can actually have a say. I'm not reliant on some billionaire, some super rich person to try and determine what's best for me. I determine what's best for me. So if you guys want to get involved with the Terra Luna Classic ecosystem, check out the link up here to be able to buy some Terra Luna Classic on MEXE. They're an exchange that actually supports the community and wants to see us move forward and actually succeed. 